Check the DOS. Check the note. What does it say? Not the moon. Not the moon? What? I don't think it is something to worry about. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, open the doors. As I thought, the doors are locked. We need to find the key. Well then, go for it. I have two keys, but I've used them both. Golden key. Doors unlocked. I wonder where the key is. Hmm. Alright, silver key. Nah. Doors unlocked. Fuck. It's gotta be this. Strange box. No. It has two holes. One for each doorknob. Why would that work? I'm an idiot. Alright, golden ring. Now! Nah. Combine! Combine these two to create a super ring. Yeah! Oh. Combine this to create. No? <gasps> oh! Hey! The ring is stuck! Looks like it was meant to be here. Interesting. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what the holes are for. The ring fit in the hole. Now. Check. The box is open. Hey, there's a key. It is from the doors. Finally! Let's get out of here. Woo! I'm... I'm genius. Open the doors. Doors are unlocked now. Ugh, I'm tired of this place. Let's get out. Why are you tired? You are a ghost. Hey, you, you got what I meant. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired of it too. Let's go. We left the throne room. Yes, more monologue. At first there was nothing but a long hallway in front of us. But soon even that disappeared. Ah, oh, the text is like loading so slowly. <laughs> it's really difficult to try and read it as the next word is popping up. I don't know how long we had been walking forward in the darkness, trying to make sure we didn't lose each other. It was like walking with your eyes closed. Nothing could be seen in this substance where we were calling darkness. I wasn't afraid of the darkness. I was the princess of the night, after all. I had problems with navigating without the light, though. So I had just been walking near the wall and making sure I was always from the same side. That way I couldn't get lost and go the wrong way. Night? Yes? I suck at saying yes. How long have we been walking already? I don't know. About a half an hour, maybe? Do you think we should go back? No way! We've been walking for so much time now, the exit should be nearby. I guess you're right. What voice do I give this character? Hello there! What? Who is it? No. You are... It is her. Well, then I should give it an evil voice, then. I don't have an evil voice. I can try. My, my. You are so smart, my dear Nightmare Moon. Oh, wait. My name is Nightmare Moon, too. Ah, it is so confusing. Stop calling yourself by my name. Oh, you do not... Oh, you don't like it, my dear. Very well. You can call me obscure. What do you want? I want the same thing as you. The Eternal Knight. I don't want that. You made me want that so you could take control of my body. No. You just want to believe that. If you didn't want that in the first place, I wouldn't be able to talk, you ba talk to you back then. Deep inside, you want that. You want your subjects to enjoy the night. You want to see them as something... As something beautiful. I don't want them to fear me. I want them to be afraid of the night itself. I don't, don't want them to... I don't want them to be afraid of the night itself. I don't need the eternal night. Don't lie to yourself, Luna. 
you know that the easiest way to achieve that is to give them no choice. When there will be no daylight, they will be able to enjoy the night. No! No! Shut your mouth. Oh, fuck. Wrong character. <laughs> Shut your mouth. You don't know Luna. She would never use such a low method to achieve her goal. <laughs> Look at her, Nightmare Moon. Lying on the floor, crying. Oh, that's right. You can't see without a light. My bad. She laughed again. I really was lying on the floor, trying to hold the tears that had been flowing down my cheeks. I didn't stop thinking about what Obscure said, about how I had been willing from, for eternal night to come. What if she was right? What if all she said was true? Get up, Luna. It is alright. Her gentle voice calmed me down a bit. My body had been still shivering to let tears stop their flow. Good. Now stop shaking, girl. You are too old to cry because of something like that. Girl is throwing me off. I don't think you would call a princess girl. <laughs> <clears throat> well, it was a nice talk, but I have to go. I have a moon to escape from. There was a sound, like a silent whistle of wind. She is gone. What is wrong? What if she was right? What if somewhere inside I really want the eternal light to come? You don't. How would you know? Because you let your sister win the battle. What? I know. She won because she was stronger. She had the elements. The fact that she had to use them already proves that she was weaker than you. If you really wanted to defeat her, she wouldn't stand a chance. Oh, looks like someone's ego is overblowing. But how is it possible? She's older than me. She can do anything. No, she can't. She can't truly fight against her own sister on her own. This is why she was weaker. And I wouldn't be wrong if I said that you gave her the strength she needed to win. That is actually a good point. That's that Celestia, Celestia, that Celestia needed the elements to defeat Nightmare Moon does indicate that Nightmare Moon was stronger. That is, that's a thinker right there. Uh, let's continue. Is that really true? How can I be stronger? You two are like a sword and a shield. The shield can't be used to attack. Its only purpose is to protect. And if Celestia is the shield, then you are the sword. But the shield can't successfully do what it was meant to without a sword. That is why you need to return to her, no matter what happens. Yes, yes, you are right. Let's go. Like a shield and a sword, huh? Yes, it probably was. It was probably like that. Whenever something endangered our subject, it was Chia who acted it was Chia who acted fast to protect them. And when the enemy was near, it was me who slashed through every its every attack to defeat it. I had to return to my dear sister. She needed my help. I had no idea of how much Celestia suffered after my defeat. And I probably will never know. There's no way Tia will tell me. Look! A light! Phew. I thought we will never find an exit. Onward! The last one buys me... Oh. The last one buys an ice cream. I could only wonder how this mare could be so positive in a situation like this. It was like we weren't on the moon, but just got lost while playing hide and seek instead. Maybe that was the right thing to do. There is no reason to panic, even in really bad situations. Panic makes us weaker. I ran forward, trying to catch up with night. But when we ran out of the tunnel, we stopped. Hey. Do you remember mountains on the moon? No, 
Not that I haven't seen anything on the moon, but no. Is that really the moon? But she said it is the moon. She could not know. In some ways, it is the moon. Though it looks like the... the though it looks that it is the not... Oh, though it looks like... Though it looks that it is not the moon, we know. Let's go. There is no reason to stand here. I stepped forward. If there was something we could do, it was walking. Until we... You misspelled until. Until we find something successful. There it is. Until we find something that would give us a clue. Until we find out what is going on. Until... Oh, there is another until. Ah. <clears throat> and until we get out of this place. To be continued. Have me emotional there. Great job. <laughs> I'm gonna see if there are other episodes available. I actually don't know. As I said, I just saw that someone recommended this game. I downloaded it, and here we are. <laughs> downloaded legally, of course. <laughs> Bro, you need a title screen. And come on, I can make a title screen in paint. Actually, see, not that hard. Ah, that's just not the best title screen I've ever seen. I don't know what is. Thanks for watching. As always, suggest the next game I should play, and I'll see you then.